Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. We are coming to you from Prospect Hill Antiques in Sunapee Harbor. The Barton Insurance Agency has been an integral part of our community for 70 years. Tell us more, Ben. The Barton Insurance Agency actually started out as the Carlton F. Barton Real Estate and Insurance Agency in 1954. My folks were uh, offered an opportunity to come back to their hometown, New London. And uh, when they arrived back, the offer was reneged upon. So in 1954, mother and dad had my eldest brother, Tom. He was born in 52. And uh, at the time, my mother was pregnant with uh, number two, which is my brother, Bill. And they came back to a small town. And they had to make a conscious decision to start a business, knowing that it was going to be from scratch. And later in the 50s, they, I remember them describing the 50s as the pregnant 50s. I came along in 56 and my brother Dan came along in 1958. So it was a handful and my mother, God bless her, was in charge of the business finances and, and keeping my father on track. A great guy, but he needed that rudder. And she had four boys to deal with and she did it uh, in a masterful way. She was a great cook. She was a great mother. She provided inspiration as all mothers do. And it, it was a task that we as kids never understood, but my father and mother decided as a team to operate a business. And my father having been a field representative for the home insurance company out of Boston, uh, my mother had a uh, teaching background in, in financial accounting and she uh, took care of the accounting part of the business. They took a an opportunity and, and made it the American dream. And I have total respect for that. That was in the early 60s and they developed the business on Main Street, not where I am today, but down opposite the uh, firehouse. And they grew the business, added on to the, to the house where I grew up. And George Cressetti came along and said, hey, bud, you need to go over to the new shopping center in 1972. And so things were changing in town and uh, the shopping center became much more retail and the office environment was being swallowed up by the retail and so it was uh, 1979 when i graduated from springfield college and i had no idea what i wanted to do for a career and the first thing i thought about was well let's, let's take a look at uh, the, the family business and it was that at that period that i could live at home allowed me to learn the business decide whether or not I was going to continue a real estate and insurance tradition, which ultimately turned into the insurance side. Unfortunately, in that period, my mother contracted cancer in, in 1979, six months after I had joined the business, and unfortunately died two years later. It was fish or cut bait time, buy the business, uh, the rest is history, as they say. So uh, it, was a, it was a very difficult period, yet it was a formative period for myself and, and establishing the, the business that it was time for me to move from that location and for a brief time went to the carriage house next to uh, what is now Bar Harbor Bank. That was 87 to 90 and the agent, I knew I, knew I needed to have a spot that I could call my own and, and have ownership in the property. So in 1991, I was able to negotiate with Sumner Woodard to buy this property here at 52 Main Street. So the, the business for my folks was always paper and pencil. Even as I came into the business, that was changing. And IBM came out with their XT drive and computer, a personal computer, and we had to have that. Well, making a total move to automation, it would have been in the 2000s because it just wasn't available for the small agency at that time. It was uh, a positioning of going from paper to uh, half and half and then fully engaging in the, in the automation, which re really occurred 2006 for the agency. The changes that were requiring the efficiency of automation were because you had a lot more competition in the marketplace. You had different models of, of, of channels of distribution. Uh, when it comes to choices for the, for the consumer. And we had to stay relevant in our technology in order to uh, reach out to, to the client and in ways that were efficient. And um, the automation al allowed us to do that. Uh, today we are you know, paperless and uh, documentation is all through the, through the system, the, uh, the customer database as we all know 
and uh, communications are, are email and automated so that we don't miss uh, opportunities for people through uh, processes that need to be identified every, every day. When we talk about the changes in the business and the ways that the consumer has for choices, the reason why the independent agency channel survives today and, and, and thrives uh, even uh, more so today than maybe in, in recent past is because we have choices to make between companies that we can offer for the client, number one. We're doing the shopping with the companies that we represent, which are several. Number two is that people have realized that there's the interaction between agent and, and themselves that brings value to the table. Having, having the ability to call an insurance company today to talk to, in our case, talk to the same account manager every day and have a personal relationship with that person is meaningful. And it's more meaningful today than ever because you have the dot-com environment a direct writer environment where you don't have the ability to get your answers quickly. What, what does that mean to the agency? It means that we have people that value the relationship. They talk about us around town. We are able to support the things that we all enjoy about living in a small community. And uh, because of that, the community is strengthened. And it's not like you're giving up, you know, a, a you're not giving up a uh, competitive position. We're competitive with all the carriers if we are able to write the business in a package form. So it, it's really a matter of deciding whether or not you want your business locally or, or outside the territory. And we think that uh, we've seen a surge in that, res that response now in our local communities and around in my territory because people want that relationship with the knowledge that it's the insurance coverage is being written properly and will respond when you need it. Congratulations, Ben, and your great staff for providing great service for these 70 years. When we return, we'll visit another New Hampshire craftsperson that will be showing at this year's Craftsman's Fair at Mount Centipede Resort. But first, these words from good folks that make our communities the great places they are, the businesses that support YCN, and the other organizations you know and love. Jersey Boys is the international music phenomenon that takes you behind the scenes and behind the music of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Winner of the Best Musical Award at the 2006 Tony Awards, Jersey Boys tells the story of the Four Seasons 40-year friendship and rise to stardom. Jersey Boys does contain adult language and adult situations and may not be appropriate for our young musical theater goers. Audiences will be thrilled with the electrifying performances of chart-topping hits including Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, Walk Like a Man, and I Can't Take My Eyes Off You, just to name a few. If you loved Beautiful in the 2023 summer season, we think you're gonna go crazy for Jersey Boys.